Hi guys, before we get to the installation, you need to get rid of those pliers because you don't use them for heat shrink connectors. You want to make sure that your tool has a die designed for insulated connectors. It doesn't matter if it's standard or one of these ratcheting tools. Your heating device it can either be a hot air gun or a butane torch. Now let's get to the installation. This connector is a unique step down butt connector that allows you to join two different wires together. First I'll insert a 16 gauge wire into the barrel with the blue stripe, making sure that I can visibly see the ends of the wire in the terminal's window. Next, using the blue crimp nest of my crimping tool, I'll want to align the tool on the blue band of the step down and crimp the connector's blue stripe. Next, I'm going to do the same for the 1210 gauge side of the step down. After inserting my 12 gauge wire and I see that the wire is fully seated in the window, I'll align the yellow crimp nest of my tool to the yellow band of the terminal's barrel and crimp. I can see both wires in the connector's window. When recovering the tubing, I start by focusing the heat at the middle of the connector and move the heat to one end. I want to make sure that any air under the tubing is forced out of the end of the step down before I recover the other side. Once the tubing is fully recovered and you can see the clear adhesive on the wire's insulation, remove it from the heat and let it cool. Now you have a termination that will last as long as your wire.